The best update of 1.20 so far, the worst update, the secret dungeon structure, and the name of 1.20. Tippy top of the morning to you, my wonderful lads, laddies, everybody, and welcome to... Yeah, those are terrible letters, aren't they? See, when I started making a snapshot videos, like, uh, years ago, I decided that I would just build the snapshot number in the background. It was a nice backdrop, and today I wanted to go, like, you know, go big or go home. Big video, and... Yeah, I... I just... I'm sorry. So, friends, since we last talked, there has been a brand new Minecraft to Java pre-release, but also the announcement of a big event this week. Today, we'll kick this uh, almost snapshot video off with that big event. But what do we call it? Find out this Thursday as we reveal the name of the 1.20 update. It'll happen at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, which is like something else British time. Alongside the big reveal of the 1.20 update, which kind of looks like it might be two words here. Alongside the big reveal of that update name, we also have a brand new Minecraft series called Minecraft Monthly. It'll be on there, YouTube. And the uh, side note, cute, uh, sad music, the black and white too. Uh, oh my gosh, this makes me shake tremendously and nervously for... Uh, this, this makes me worried for Minecraft now. It's been like literally months since anybody even uttered those two words together. Uh, what happened to the live stream series? Seems like a lot of series were starting. It is with nervous heart that I wonder curiously if Minecraft now is just done so, cancelled forever, and replaced with Minecraft Monthly, or... Or what? I wish I knew. Ah, but anyways, Minecraft 1.20, the official name, is being revealed this week, which makes me think, maybe, just maybe, this update is gonna come sooner than June. Are we looking at maybe a spring update? But I do know that legally, this is your last chance to predict the name of 1.20. Down below in the comments, what do you think this update is named? I keep seeing dunes and ruins, and I kind of like that. It's poetic. Moving on from Minecraft's big event to Minecraft's newest pre-release. Minecraft 1.19.4 pre-release 2. It's out yesterday. Included in this new Minecraft release, we've got some pretty nice changes, a completely game-changing change, and a heartbreaking one too. On Mondays, I usually only post a short though, so here we are today, one day later. We'll start with the absolutely breathtaking change because... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is not only just beautiful in, in perfection, but it's also kind of romantic looking, I can't lie. This is a relatively small change, but it's taken my hype for 1.20 and, and just cranking a dial up even more. <laughs> I love this. Oh, it was but just a few days ago, I posted the video going over the whole archaeology system right now. In, in that fateful video that you're seeing clips of right now, oh, the pots, they looked so immature, so young, so, so z fighty. And to now, here we are, Minecraft 1.90.4, free release 2, we've got a brand new pot texture. Now, as far as I can tell, the bottom part of the texture with like the shards and everything, it's exactly the same, that hasn't changed. The thing that has changed, obviously, is this top rim right here. Oh my gosh. By changing this top rim, they've made it so the pots, when placed on top of this thing, they don't really have that strange Z-fighting issue. You see, I placed that down, and because this whole thing is thicker, and then it's got that cool rim, ah, like no strange, weird-looking glitch. What do you think about these pots? I, I think it's breathtaking. I think it's beautiful. I, I love this so much, and... Flashback throwback. Flashback throwback to that OG archaeology system and shown off at Minecraft Live 2020. The pots look a whole lot more similar to these ones right here. I actually think I like the new version of the pots even better. I can't lie, I do kind of miss the colorful shards, but wow, the pots. Another mechanic that I'm still hopeful for, I, d I don't know if it's even worth dreaming of, but like this old heating up mechanic, this was so cool looking, like nothing in the game like it at all. You place the pots down, you heat it up, and it, like, ah, oh, that's so interesting. It's way more cool than a crafting table. And I'm sure, like, like I'm so confident that there has to be more archaeology shards as well. I'm thinking the new shards, the more the shards that they add in, they would be tied to, like, the other sites in the game. That's why we only really have these four right now, but, like, just wow. Also, I mean, while I'm at it with the request, can we please, like, be able to hold die and use it on the pot, and then one phase or the whole pot becomes color? Please? Thank you. So, in my opinion, the best to change to Minecraft 1.20 so far, of course, other than that whole cherry grove of biome surprise, the pots, they look so much better. Now, out here, in front of the desert temple, I was messing around with the pots and thinking about build designs and building with them. First off, the first big thing that I noticed is 
the pot actually isn't exactly the same color as terracotta. Kind of always thought it was, and don't know how I didn't think to test it until now. I feel like I came up with some pretty fire ideas here, though. I, I can't lie. So you could put a candle in the middle of a pot right here, and it looks really, really interesting. If you start adding more candles into the mix, it kind of gets a little ruined, so maybe keep it at one, but it is possible. The sea pickle kind of fits perfectly in the middle of the pot right there. Check that out. Uh, same thing, though. If we start adding sea pickles, it gets really, really weird. This trap door has a circle in it. Oh, it closes right over the pod. Very interesting. The lantern also fits like perfectly in there. A pressure plate. You could absolutely put a pressure plate on the top of this thing. The pods are such an interesting shape. I feel like this is going to be so nice for building, but also like maybe displaying things. It's kind of too bad that the banner doesn't work very well. Of course, a wall right there. Manor girl fences. They blend beautifully into these pots. End rod torch. Brewing stand. Brewing stand is kind of weird. The pots are still missing a break sound sometimes, but they definitely do stack. Hoppers, unfortunately, still do not work with a pot, but I really, really would love to see that happen. We got a small gap, though. World's smallest gap in Minecraft. And then coming full circle, of course, you can still put a pot on top of the pot. And of course, when you do, it just looks so good. It looks even better now. I love what they're doing with this thing. It's great. But that wonderful pod update, it actually wasn't the only Minecraft 1.20 update in the 1.19.4 pre-release. We also have an update to the item textures of all of these things. Or, at least I'm pretty sure it's the item texture. On the door, previously, that little uh, U-shape right there, it wasn't on the model. The cherry grove tree, I wouldn't be able to tell you what's different. The boat, it was missing one single dark pixel. Part of the chest. Checking out these things in game, it's not really gonna change a single thing. I believe in game, they're actual like textures once placed down. Uh, I think they're all exactly the same, but even if they weren't, the difference is so minor, guys, that it, like, it, it doesn't even matter. It's a small difference. One difference that is really big and does matter and actually has been in the game for like, wait, look at how you hold the pot. That's so strange. I'm just noticing this now, but you hold the block like that and then you hold the pot. Like, from the bottom. Huh. Anyways, this bug has been in the game for years, but if a crossbow was loaded and then placed in an item frame, for some reason, sometimes it would not look loaded. Check that out right there. Now it's actually going to look loaded inside of an item frame, and that's just such an interesting looking texture. I don't know about you, but this might be the best looking arrow item in the entire game. Also included in this latest pre Also included in this latest pre Sorry, guys, I kept falling asleep. There's some interesting, I mean, I'm sure they're great, but, like, some technical changes or bug fixes in, in the pre-release. Uh, sorry. They kind of put me to sleep, though. Minecraft's worst change ever. It's sad. In fact, it's too sad to even play the sad music. Check this out. I'm in the boat. I have an ice track. If I sail up to one block right there, as expected, I, I hit that block. So there was an interesting bug. I didn't get the chance to talk about it because... It is kill. Alrighty. Here's a video from the bug report of this bug, and look at what you could do. I don't know if you caught that, but the boat, it could sail clean up a block. You could, of course, combine this mechanic with, like, an ice road or something, and create the most overpowered, best form of transportation in the entire game. But, it's gone. Like I said, this thing was absolutely amazing. Here's another video of it from Twitter, from Potato Man of Minecraft, and it's just, just so cool looking. Unfortunately, this bug was so short-lived that I didn't even get the chance to talk about it in a video, but yeah, th that would have been so cool. What do you think? Should boats have this functionality? Should they be able to go up one block? Pre-releases are like more finalized snapshots that are a little bit more random. Typically, you see less cool new features like that pot one, and typically, they release on any day of the week. For all we know, this next Minecraft pre-release could drop later today. It might drop tomorrow, or it might not even drop until next week. But we can take a look at some things that might be inside it. From the looks of some of the things that seem to be in progress over on the bug tracker, the skulk sensor is getting even more upgrades. Now, I do want to be clear that some of these things have been in progress for a minute here, but from the looks of things, we have at least six more skulk sensor changes that might make it into the final 1.19.4 update. They all have to do with detecting different interactions. Another interesting change that they're working on actually has to do with this tree right here. Rooted dirt, it actually can't replace sandstone, or at least it has like a, like a hard time doing that. 
as we'll notice right here as we start digging down the rooted dirt kind of just ends as soon as we hit sandstone it like goes away i think it's supposed to go down a lot farther another change is in progress in the bug tracker that has to do with the potions and the amazing amazing removal of the enchantment glyphs they might change even more certain potions are still indistinguishable by color being worked on by king b dogs himself this picture shows it all perfectly we've got different potions but they look similar without the glint we could totally utilize some more colors now right eh, it might not be like the most useful thing after all memorizing a potion by color might be tricky but it could be cool to see and so uh minecraft 1.19.4 pre-release for the big event happening this thursday with the naming of the update and it may be a little bit of pre-release three as well we got one final mystery here and this might be a reach i want to make that clear the header of every single snapshot changelog usually features a picture that relates to the snapshot itself sometimes minecraft 1.19.4 pre-release one had this is the picture that relates to the brand new ride command coming in 1.19.4 um this is interesting now look it could be nothing but we have the current archaeology site then we have pots leading down to this room right here and then we've got a dungeon one of the most popular requested structures for an update look look it's based in pure speculation one tiny image that's all we got maybe i'll dive into it a little bit more in a different video but update the dungeon the desert temple is one of minecraft's oldest structures so is this thing maybe update the dungeon add more rooms to it one of the rooms has gravel and then we could brush away the gravel <sighs> i don't know feels like it could totally fit in 1.20 maybe perfect even let me know all your thoughts on everything we talked about today and more down in the comments below because this is the end smash like subscribe for more videos just like this and don't forget that notification bell it's essential it's me waddles thank you all for watching i'll see you tomorrow